Hi, everybody. We've been talking about converting units, and there's one other type of conversion we've not dealt with yet, and that is squared and cubed units. Things like square meters, square feet, square yards, cubic meters, cubic yards. Um, if you're going to buy flooring, you're going to be dealing with area units. If you're concerned about pouring concrete or the volume of a new refrigerator or the volume of the inside space of your new vehicle. Those are those squares and cubes and converting them. The good news is we're going to use the same ideas we've been using, uh, the TIE fighter approach. It's just a little bit different because we've not done this before. So before we begin, let's talk about what are we actually mathematically doing when we square or cube something. So if I've got five to the raise to the second power, what does that really mean? It means five multiplied by itself. If I've got x squared, well, that means x times x. And if I've got a unit squared or cubed, it just means, for example, cubic feet, feet, multiplied by feet, multiplied by feet. It's the same unit multiplied by itself multiple times. And we're going to keep that idea in the back of our mind as we convert. So let's go through one of these. As always, lined paper is really, really handy. And I'm going to convert square inches into square feet. Now, most people do not know exactly how many square inches are in a square foot, but also, in the U.S., most people know that 12 inches equals one foot. So we're going to start with something that is common that we already know. So if I have 144 inches squared and I want to convert that to square feet, I have this is my conversion factor. And I'm going to have my TIE fighter. But because I'm dealing with these squared units, there's one other thing that I like to do when I'm dealing with squares and cubes. It is very easy to forget the squaredness or the cubicness of them. So here's how I write it out. I'm a very tactile visual person. And so I say to myself, square inches means I am multiplying inches times inches. And I will physically right above it, like two little antenna on a little space alien, inches times inches. So now I'm not converting square inches into square feet. I am converting inches twice into feet. So now it's pretty simple. If I want to convert inches into feet, I get rid of inches, keep feet. I know that there are 12 inches in one foot. This is going to cancel one of those. Now, am I done? No, of course I'm not done. If I would stop right now, I would have inch feet. Inch feet is a stupid unit. That is not a unit. That is silliness. So how do I get rid of the other inch? Well, to get rid of the other inch, I just put down another TIE fighter. To get rid of the other inch, put another inch on the bottom, put another foot on top, then I put the numbers in again, 12 inches in one foot. This cancels the other inch. I end up with feet times feet, and feet times feet is what gives me square feet. I pick up my calculator, 144 divided by 12 divided by 12 happens to be one square foot. We've been talking in the background about significant digits. I started with three to end with three, 1.00. Okay, all right, let's do another one. This time I've got cubic centimeters. As always, nice lined paper, 60,900 cubic centimeters. Now that technique that I like is I am going to remind myself this means multiply centimeters times itself three times. So I'm gonna draw my little antenna centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. That's replacing that cubicness. And I'm aiming for cubic meters on top. Put down my TIE fighter. How many centimeters in a meter? Well, there happens to be a hundred centimeters in a meter. I'm going to get rid of centimeters, convert to meters. Always put the units in first, then put the numbers. One meter is a hundred centimeters. One meters, 100 centimeters. 
This cancels one of those. And how do I get rid of the next centimeter? You do it again. The nice thing about this process is once you get, get it, you, you get into a rhythm, you just do it more than once. One meter, 100 centimeters. And each one of these cancels, one, two, three, and I end up with meters times meters times meters, which equals cubic meters. When I pick up my calculator, I end up with 0 0.0609 meters cubed. And the three digits here indicate the three significant digits there, and we are good. Now, I am hearing some of you yelling at me from your home. You're going, Mary, there's an easier way to do it. Yeah, there is. Now, you can also do this. You can set it up like this because these three are the same fraction. You can draw it like this, one meter, 100 centimeters, and you can cube the entire fraction which means that you're basically saying one, cube, one cubed meters cubed, 100 cubed centimeters cubed. And truthfully, this takes up less space. It is the lazy way of working it. It works just fine. Mathematically, it works fine. And you can do this if you are have had enough caffeine and enough sleep and you feel confident in math. If you have enough sleep, caffeine, and confident in math, you may do it that way. I give you my mathematical blessing to do it that way. But if you are insecure, do it this way. Don't even attempt that because you will forget it. Trust me, you are going to forget something. It happens. All right, my friends. Hit pause. You know the drill by now. Um, hit pause. Try this one, and then we're going to go through it together. Okay, here we go. 98,400 cubic inches. I'm going to replace this with my three little antenna, inches times inches times inches. I'm going to get rid of inches, go to feet, 12 inches in a foot. This is going to cancel one. I got two more inches to dispose of, 12 inches in a foot. This cancels the next one. One more inch to get rid of. 12 inches in one foot. This cancels that one. When I pick up my calculator, I end up with 56.944, and that's a decimal. I started with three significant digits, round this off to three sig figs, 56.9 feet times feet times feet, cubic feet. There we go. All right, let's try another one. Cubic meters, two cubic feet. Cubic meters, two cubic feet. Give this a try. All righty, my friends, here we go. 45.3 meters cubed. Again, three antenna, meters, meters, meters. I'm replacing that with what that means. I'm making it less simple so that I can truly see what's going on. Get rid of meters, two feet. Now the conversion factor I like is this one. One foot is 0.305. You, you just kind of like certain conversion factors that you use over and over. It's kind of like habit. Um, this one's gonna get rid of one of the meters. I'm gonna do it again to get rid of the next meter. And I'm gonna do it one more time to get rid of the last meter. And when I do that, I'm going to end up with feet times feet times feet, cubic feet. Pick up my calculator. When I do that, I ended up with 1596.609 cubic feet. Now, here's the wacky part. Folks, if you got all this right, woohoo, you'll do great on the quiz. Now, for those of you on the higher level of mathematics who care about significant digits, let's talk about this for just 15 seconds. Three sig figs here, I could round this off to three sig figs. Well, if I take it down to four sig figs, I've got 1597. If I take this down to three sig figs, the 97 is, this is going to, yeah, how do I do that? That's going to be 1600, but this means three of them are, how do I show that these three are significant? 
That's why scientific notation was invented, and it should be written as 1.60 times 10 to the third cubic feet. Um, and if you got this, and right here you're giving me the huh look, don't worry about it. You got the converting down and this is for those of you at that elevated level. All right, we're going to have some practice on this on the study guide. And uh, trust me, you'll have some cubic conversions on this week's quiz. See you later. Bye.